Hello guys, this is Shreya Kool. In today's session, we are going to learn the different uses of this calculator. We will learn few functions. We will learn that how to use this calculator effectively. Before starting with with any function, please switch on the calculator. and go to the function that is called second is second on the calculator press it and then press this format button so this calculator inherently designed for two decimal dc means decimal but it is advisable it is preferable to put nine decimal in place so press the 9 and you have to enter the command as we normally use the laptop or when we use the cell phone when we text someone when we type the text we have to enter it so similarly you have to enter it so is equal to sign appeared here that means this calculator has been functioned has been designed at 9 decimal now you want to exit from this format button you will press second and quit this is quit so if you look at the calculator carefully every button has two function this for example this is 8 when you press it 8 will appear above but above st80 stat is also appearing here 7 is appearing but on above the 7 data is appearing so this second is like the second button will work like a shift button when you press the second this data button will work when when you press the second this depreciation deper button will work when you press the second this format button will work so immediately when you put the calculator put the calculator into a nine decimal place now let's do different examples for example number one example is 2 plus 5 obviously it will be 7 let's do on the calculator so we have exit from the previous function by pressing second and quit now press 2 Plus seven is equal to nine, and here in my example two plus five it will be equal to seven. And for example, if you want to take the power of something, for example four power four to raise four four raised to power two, that will be equal to. Four raised to power two. This will be as the power button raised to power two. So it will be equal to sixteen. Three raised to power two is equal to nine. And if you want to take power like six raised to power five, how it will work? It will work as six. this y x y raised to power x this button will serve as a power button press 5 so it will be triple 7 6 so it will be 6 y x raised to power 5 so for example you want to take the power of 5 3 raised to power 5 will be 3 raised to power 5 so it will be 243 if you observe carefully after doing every calculation i normally i normally clear my work by pressing this button the last one clr work clear work so if you want to take the power as 3 raised to power 1 4 how you will take this 3 raised to power button 
4 but I don't want to take the power 4 I want to take the power 1 over 4 so press this button 1 over x and then enter it will be 1.316 so let me do it again for example you want to take the power of 30 30 raised to power 3 so it will be clear work 30 raised to power 3 it will be equal to 27,000 now you want to take this exactly opposite like 3 under root 27,000 or it will be also equal to 27,000 raised to power 1 over 3 so 27,000 raised to power 1 over 3 how to write the 1 over 3 3 then press 1 over x and then is equal to 30 so you will press 27,000 y x 3 then press 1 over x button it will turn this into 1 over 3 that will be equal to the 30 so okay so let let me do one example again 15 power 3 15 power 3 so it will be 3375 now 3375 raised to power 1 over 3 or 3 under root 3375 you will do it 3375 raised to power 3 make an inverse 1 over 3 and is equal to that will be equal to the 15 that's how it will work let's learn a very important function now that is store for example you want to multiply 16 with 18 and with 90 and you will calculate the 60 80 and 90 in a in a different uh, using different functions so if you want to store this 60 that can be stored using this button sto sto store at 1 so you can store at 1 so first of all write the 60 then press sto store at 1 then this has been stored at 1 then you want to store 80 so write 80 then press sto press at 2 this has been stored at 2 then stored 90 you can write the 90 here and store at 3 now how to recall this press recall button 1 recall 1 60 will appear multiply it with 80 and how to recall the 80 recall 2 80 will appear is equal to then multiply it with 90 and recall the 90 so that will be equal to 430 2000 so you can store up to 9 digit so what is the process of storing calculate any value write that any value on the calculator and press this sto for example you want to store at 4 press 4 and when you store different values at different numbers you can easily recall that number by recalling by pressing recall rcl and 4 it will appear so even for example you can appear now you can recall it now recall 4 432000 will appear that's how you can use the store and recall button now there is another function that is days between dates so if you want to calculate the days between two dates how to do that for example if today's date is 16 august 2022 this is today's date you can also this 
name this d1 date 1 and for example second date is the expiry of this year that is 31st december 2022 this will be day 2 for example this is the expiry and you want to calculate the days between these two how to do that so there is a proper function for that that is press second and format button then arrow down ignore this then again arrow down this is the date function if you are using the excel you know that there are different functions of there are different format of the date this is the format in which month will appear first days will appear second and then the year this is the us format but obviously we normally follow the european format you can use the european format by shifting this us format to the european format and that is press second and enter this is the european format okay now enter this now your calculator has been shifted to the european format so now if you want to exit this function press second and quit now go to the calculator again and press second and date button second and date button this is the date button dt1 is the date one this is the date one 31st 12 and 1990 obviously our date is different so how to write this date press you will write 16 dot 08 and double two write 16 dot 08 double two enter 16th august 2022 arrow down this will be d2 how to write this 31st dot 12 22 31st dot 12 22 enter arrow down this is days between dates now compute it it will be 137 so now there are two conventions which we normally use that is actual convention actual days in a year and there is other, another convention that is 360 days in a year so let's learn that our calculator is formatted to the actual days or the 360 days arrow down we have calculated this calculation 137 according to the actual convention normally 99 percent of the chance we normally use the actual convention but in sometimes in some of the bonds we normally use 360 days in a year we normally use 360 convention in that case remember you have to set your calculator to the 360 format that is second enter now our calculator has been shifted to the 360 convention again arrow down d1 d2 d days between dates compute 135 according to the 360 convention days are 135 between these two dates but if we want to shift our calculator to the actual convention arrow down 360 we want to shift to the actual convention second enter now our calculator has been shifted to the actual convention arrow down day one day date two date one day two days between the dates compute according to the actual convention it is 137 that's how you can calculate days between the dates